is me, terrible. Time for an NBA video. Yes, out of nowhere. Time to get some NBA videos in. This is going to be a prediction video for the season. Um, I know it's a little late, but my my finals, the, the teams I got meeting in the finals, haven't changed, so it works out. Uh, last video, I, because of my mouth, you know, being a little injured from getting my wisdom teeth removed, I requested 500000 from each of you. I did not get that, all right? I understand that might be a little too much to ask, so I will accept 100000 Thank you. Um, with that being said, we're going to make some predictions, all right? I don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. So if you want to call my predictions dumb, go ahead, all right? You want to call me stupid, go ahead, all right? I agree with you, all right? So if you call me stupid, it's not going to upset me. If anything, it'll make me like you more, all right? I, I would want to be your friend after that because we just have so much in common. But with that being said, let's get started, all right? So I'm not even going to go over the current standings because, well, it doesn't matter. Um, the funny thing is the 10 teams that would be in the playoffs right now, I, I don't have it changing, <laughs> so... The NBA season is too long. <laughs> uh, the, it's I, I don't think it'll change, um, but I'll go over my predicted standings. So, going into the playoffs, we'll start with the West. I believe the Thunder will end up getting that one seed, followed by the Nuggets and the T-Wolves. They're, they're currently first. Uh, they will fall to third. No diss to them. I mean, the, those are three good teams right there. No diss to the Timberwolves. I think they're going to be just fine in the playoffs here. Um, the West is just crazy right now. Um, I do think they are a really good team, uh, especially with their defense. Um, so don't get mad at me for having them drop uh, behind those two teams. But then I got Clippers, Mavs. I have them jumping up a little bit. Suns, Pelicans, Warriors. Those are the top eight. And then Lakers, Kings, uh, last two teams in the play-in. And then Rockets, they'll, I think they'll hop ahead of the Jazz. Uh, and those will be the last two teams that make it. They will, er, that will miss out. Uh, but they, they aren't really close. They're not really that close anyway. So over to the East, uh, I got Celtics going to finish first. I think the Bucks. I think they'll be able to jump the Cavs at some point, get up to number two. I got Cavs at number three. I think the Pacers, I think they're going to figure out a way to slide up to number four, uh, followed by the Knicks at five. I could see that one being switched. Maybe the Knicks... Hold on to five, uh, Pacers or Knicks get hold on to four. Pacers get up to uh, to five. Uh, I got Heat at number six. I got the Magic sliding up to seven, and the Sixers without Embiid. You know they're gonna lose some games here. Uh, it's gonna be tough for them a little bit. I think they'll fall to eight, but um, I don't think they have anything to worry about. I think they'll be okay. Uh, and then Hawk, uh, Hawks at number nine, and Bulls at ten. I think yeah, the Hawks will. And currently behind the Bulls, but they should be able to jump, and then and the, the Raptors, I think they'll make a, a tiny run, they might have a shot to get in, uh, but I have them being the first team missing, and then the Nets uh, right behind them, so it's funny, like Rockets, Jazz, Raptors, Nets, like all of them, they don't really have control of some of their picks, so they're all trying to get as high as they can uh, without tanking, and, and uh, let their picks convey, uh, at least the Jazz, their pick is, they're trying to there's a convey, but um, they're all going to pretty much miss the playoffs, so you get to the play-in. All right, back to the West. Um, so it's it would be Lakers versus the Kings. Sorry, Kings. This is going to be a rough year for you guys after having a lot of hope last year. I think they're going to realize they don't quite have the roster yet. Um, even though it's not a bad roster, the West is just crazy good. I think the Lakers will knock them out, even though I don't think the Lakers roster is that great either, but uh, maybe the Kings, maybe the Kings beat them, but, and then I think the Warriors, uh, the, I think they'll just, they'll take the Pelicans out, um, I like the Pelicans, but I just, you know, in the West, you know, they, they'll end up in the play-in game against the Lakers for the 8th spot, I think the Lakers will beat them there too, which, I mean, sorry Pelicans fans, I don't, I don't know, it's just, uh, I feel like they just don't have the roster. Something's not right there. They got some nice pieces. They got some nice young pieces. Uh, Ingram, 26. 
peaks in his prime, Zion. Amazing when he's healthy. I just, I don't know. I, I see them being solid for the regular season and just not getting it done in the playoffs. Um, I don't know. And, of course, the NBA would be so happy if the, the Warriors and Lakers got in over the Pelicans. Uh, but I just, I don't know. I'd love to be wrong. I'd love for the Warriors and Lakers to get smacked by the Pelicans or something. But I, uh, I don't know. I don't see it happening. But we go to the East. Uh, it would be Magic versus Sixers. I think the Sixers would take them in that one game, especially if Embiid's back, of course. Because um, the Sixers, you know, when healthy, they're way better than the eighth seed. Um, and then Hawks, Bulls. I think Hawks will take them. And then it would be Magic versus the Hawks. And Magic would take them out. So Sixers would jump up to seven. Magic would fall to eight. And then it would be Warriors, Lakers at seven and eight, which gets us to the playoff bracket. I don't think I'm going to predict how many games it'll take, but um, it's just I think it's just pointless. Uh, I'm never even close on those. I barely, I barely get predictions of like which team's gonna win right. I barely get those right. So how am I supposed to guess the number of games too? <laughs> um, but crazy matchups. Uh, we would have Thunder Lakers first round, Clippers Mavs, uh, Timberwolves Suns, Nuggets Warriors, and then in the East Celtics Magic, Pacers Knicks. Cavs versus the Heat, tough one for the Cavs. Uh, Sixers, Bucks. So that would be. I mean, these these games all sound too good to be true. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, we'll start with the West. I think we'll have Thunder take down the Lakers. Clippers would take down the Mavs. So just the top seeds would get the wins. Timberwolves over the Suns. Yep. I think the defense will be enough to stop the the scoring. That should be that'd be a fun one. Uh, I I do think the Timberwolves will take that one. I don't think it'll be too tough either, unless KD and Booker go like nuclear or something. But um, then Nuggets Warriors, interesting matchup. Um, I think the Nuggets get it. I think they they bounce the Warriors um, for sure. So uh, it'd be Thunder Clippers. And T-Wolves, Nuggets uh, in the second round. So we'll go to the East. Celtics, Magic. Hey, tough matchup for the Celtics. Uh, the Magic, they've had their number a couple different times. Um, they got a solid young squad. Looking to get some nice playoff experience this year. And they will. Um, but I have to believe the Celtics will take it. Um, Pacers, Knicks. Pacers, uh, similar to the Magic, they're actually... They're a better version of the Magic, um, in a sense. Um, but the Pacers, I think the Knicks, the Knicks are just, they're a tough squad. Uh, they really are. And, uh, you know, they moved quickly, Barrett, but brought in OG. Like, I, I think they have a solid squad. They're, they have a tough team. And I think they'll do what they did to the Cavs last year and just, just out, out, I don't know. They'll just, they'll just, the Pacers might have, you know, maybe some more talent, but I don't know. The Knicks are good. The Knicks are good. Don't don't sleep on them. Um, they're just a tough team to play. They're just a matchup nightmare. But I think they, the Knicks uh, will take them down. And then Cavs Heat. Oh, man. Sorry, Cavs. I think if the Cavs match up with a couple different teams, I think maybe they... Oh, man. That, that's tough. That's tough. I'm sorry, Cavs. I think the Cavs are going to get knocked by the Heat. Um, as good as the Cavs have been. The zombie Heat, I think they'll come alive. They'll get the dub. And then Sixers, Bucks. That is that is a ridiculously tough first round meeting uh, for both of these teams. Um, but the Bucks, the Bucks should be able to get that. They should be able to get that. The Sixers are not going to make it easy. That should go at least six or seven. Um, uh, that's that's gonna be a tough one. So it would be Celtics, Knicks, Heat, Bucks, and yeah, yeah, that's the East. Yep. <laughs> um, back to the West. So we have Thunder versus the Clippers. Love the Thunder. Love what they're doing. The Clippers are gonna assert their dominance, their veteran dominance, their experience, uh, their talent. They're old. They're old money. They got old money. <laughs> Uh, Thunder, they're young money. <laughs> Clippers 
got old money though. Old money. Old money's gonna get built. <laughs> but yeah, I got the Clippers taking out the one seed Thunder and then the Timberwolves versus the Nuggets. Oh man, should be a great matchup just like last year. But I gotta go with the Nuggets once again. I think they'll they'll win that, move on to the conference final. And then back to the East, Celtics, Knicks. Knicks are not going to make it easy, but the Celtics should be able to get through that one as long as they stay healthy, as long as nobody chokes. Uh, they should be just fine. And then Heat, Bucks. Not going to be like last year. It's not going to be like last year. It's going to be the Bucks in this one. All right, it's going to be the Bucks taking down the Heat. So conference final would be Celtics, Bucks. And Clippers versus the Nuggets. Whew. That sounds awesome. That would be that would be great. All right, let's make some predictions for these ones. Clippers, Nuggets. Man, I could see the Clippers. I could see them getting it done, but I'm not gonna predict that. I'm gonna predict the Nuggets to slide through once again. I think they'll be able to slide just past the Clippers. They got enough experience. Obviously, they've been there, done that. I think they're going to slide right back into the final. Although it doesn't happen too much uh, lately, the last few years. Seems like the teams kind of switch up a little bit. But I think this Nuggets team, they're good. They're good. I know they lost maybe one or two bench pieces from last year, but they're, they're going to be just fine. Um, they're just Jokic and Murray in the playoffs and Aaron Gordon underrated. Michael Porter Jr., as long as he doesn't start chucking, he's okay. <laughs> um, but back to the East, Celtics, Bucks. <laughs> Dame and Giannis versus the the hospital Celtics. No, I'm kidding. I hope not. But, um, yeah, Tatum, Brown, Porzingis, and Drew. Drew playing his old team. Wow, this would be... These matchups, they almost, they're almost too good to be true. Uh, which, you know, it makes sense. But, all right, I get it. All right, I have bias. All right, I'm pretty good at avoiding the bias. But this Celtics team is so good. Um... The East, East is tough, but, you know, if the Celtics, if they were trying to run through the West, I don't think they'd do it, but with the East, I think they're able to run through it and then take out the Bucks in the conference final and advance, and we would have Celtics Nuggets in the finals, which was my original prediction beginning of the season, and I'm just going to stick with it because I think it's up there. Um, hey, Celtics Clippers, I would love that matchup too. Celtics Bucks, that would be a good one. Um, but in terms of the East, the Celtics and the Bucks really seem like the only true contenders. Um, I'd say in the West, um, Clippers, Nuggets, Timberwolves, and Maybe, maybe the Thunder. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I could say the Thunder. I, I think there's four, four teams in the West that could do it. Um, and then even like the Mavs, the Suns, the Warriors, lots of vets. Even the Lakers, you know, lots of all vets. I mean, maybe they make a run. Who knows? But um, Celtics, Nuggets. I I just I hate doing this, but. I think it's I think it's their year. I think it's the Celtics. Man, it, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to do what they haven't done before. Tatum's gonna have to go off. Jalen Brown's gonna have to be solid. Porzingis is gonna have to be solid. Drew's gonna have to be solid. Derek White, Al Horford. Not even sure. I, I'm curious to see the playoff rotation, um, but it's. This is it. This is their year. If they don't do it this year, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe next year. If they don't do it this year, next year, that, it's not happening. This is their window. This is their window. Um, we'll see. T 
Tatum, Tatum's got to play. You don't need an MVP to win the finals, but yet you have to have a guy that's playing close to an MVP level. So, Tatum, you're up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what everybody else is thinking in terms of predictions. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But I like my predictions. I think they're decent. Maybe they're too basic. I don't know. But the 40-20 rule, it stands.